Bruh. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, we have a terrible Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All OB1 right. OB1 plays. going on everybody <laughs> how are y'all doing we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items for this video but first you have to give the video a thumbs up bruh thumbs up thumbs up like 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 if you're enjoying the content i know this is not your first time watching if it's your first time watching make sure you subscribe but we have a couple of dope gaming news items the first one is a pretty big one sony playstation's head of global third party relations had the following to say said this to on the social network on linkedin and i quote just wait until you see what's coming from our third party partners too. Bro, Sony's already showed us what's coming, it was here now and coming in the near future on the first party front. But the head of their third party relations is saying, y'all ain't seen nothing yet when it comes to what our third party partners are cooking up for the PlayStation 5. Now, we already seen Forspoken. This game looks insane. This is probably not one of them, another one that I'm about to mention. But this is my second most anticipated third party game coming out on PlayStation 5. Final Fantasy 16. I can't believe that Final Fantasy 16 is going to be a PS5 exclusive i don't know if it's coming to the playstation 4 but i know definitely on the ps5 timed exclusive <coughs> no announcements on xbox but we don't know on that front but king of bridge of spirits is my number one most anticipated third party game coming this um august august coming in like two months three months but bro they've said sony has said y'all ain't even seen nothing yet which causes me to wonder what else are they cooking up on the third party front. Now, even if what they get on third party isn't going to be a flat uh, or what other games they have that they say we haven't um, um, we haven't even seen yet. Just wait until you see it. We don't know if it's going to be a flat out exclusive or if it's going to be like Resident Evil. PlayStation fans get like the demo a month early. Uh, content, um, exclusive content oh, on the PlayStation 5. Yeah. We got a new sponsor while we're recording. Hey, if you want to become a sponsor, join the dope gaming community. Links in the description of this video. But uh, we don't know if it's going to be timed exclusive or what they have cooking up. But one thing we do know is the head of PlayStation's global third party relations has said just wait until you see what's coming from our third party partners too they're knocking it out the ballpark on the first party front miles morales Sackboy, demon souls godfall just got returnal ratchet and clank next month horizon um forbidden west in the fall god of war ragnarok um um gran turismo 7 <laughs> that harry potter game looks crazy they're delivering they're delivering but they're on the first party front, but they're saying, y'all ain't say nothing when it comes to what we got, what I've seen as far as third party games coming to the PS5. So looks like PS5 is delivering, not looks like they are, they are delivering the games, bro. I'm enjoying Returnal. Um, can't wait for Ratchet next month. We let next news item, bro. This is pretty crazy stuff. Bro, 
Angie Smith, studio manager of Guerrilla Games, he's gone on record to say, and you know, in Horizon Zero Dawn on the PS4, used to she used to be in stealth mode, walking through the large blades of grass, bro. In Horizon Forbidden West on the PS5, you're gonna be able to feel the individual blades of grass. <laughs> I'm telling you, and. Uh, if there was any other controller, if I haven't really, if I haven't experienced this for myself, I'd be like, let's just cap. Ain't no way in the world you're going to be able to feel blades of grass through, through a controller, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> After playing with this, it's going to happen. Bro, you feel the rage. I still can't figure out when I'm playing Astro, Astro Playroom on a PS5. The stage where the wind is blowing. You feel it from the direction the wind is blowing on the controller. Some crazy stuff, man. And so in Horizon Forbidden West, when you're in stealth mode, walking through the grass, you're going to be able to feel the blades of grass on the controller. Next gen, bro. That's next gen stuff. So I can't wait. This game, I really think, is coming out 2020. Uh, yeah, Sony reconfirmed that this game is coming out holiday uh, this year. Or well, didn't say holiday, just said 2021. So can't wait to play this game, bro. <laughs> it's going to be lit. And last news item for this video, Hades. This was, for many, the game of the year last year. Well, it looks like it may be coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. The game has been spotted on the Korean ratings board, meaning that it's more than likely about to happen. Usually when games get spotted on rating boards, it's just one of the final steps before final certification, final approval. The game will be coming to a PlayStation platform. Ah, uh, really not my thing. Top-down isometric. It looks cool. I mean, everybody says it's like a fantastic game. So uh, my roguelike game right now is Returnal. Even though oh, the game crashed on me when I was on the fourth boss. But Returnal is fire, bro. All right. Those are all the news items for this video, man. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.